Hey everyone, this is Adara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Da Nang. Da Nang me, Da Nang me, don't hang me, guys. It's a great time to be alive, and uh, things are things are looking pretty, uh, pretty desperate out there, pretty boring, and uh, crypto's putting everybody to sleep. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin. Elon Musk just said this about Dogecoin. Just said this about the economy. Just said this about cryptocurrency. We're going to be talking about Luna Classic and the huge burny burn out there. What's going on? And uh, you know, a lot of a lot of Luna Classic holders right now are kind of like panicking. Get banging and what's going on? They expected a big pop for the burns, guys. And you guys just have to, you know, like like wine. You gotta you gotta let it mature a little bit. You gotta let the uh, network, uh, you know, do its thing. And you know, we're seeing that a lot of centralized exchanges are not burning at full capacity because they're still doing maintenance and upgrading out there on the on on their systems. And you know, also too, don't forget the blockchain is still. Still new to this, and so it's going to take time, tedy, tedy, just time uh, for things to kind of, you know, get going. So don't panic out there. It's not the end of the world. We will get the Bernie Burn out there. And uh, we're seeing right now that uh, the U.S. markets are down, diddy, diddy, down, down. Uh, we did talk about, uh, you know, Bank of England in, uh, increases its uh, interest rate by 50 basis points. We have 75 basis points uh, increase uh, yesterday. And uh, so, you know, the, you know, the macroeconomic uh, stuff, is kind of looking bad and uh you know we're seeing that uh, we're also seeing that um you know it could take six months some people some of the top analysts saying it could take six months for you know the uh, for things to get better so it's okay and we're seeing that you know slowing down except for energy and utilities all industry sectors in the S&P 500 have more earnings estimates downgrades and upgrades so we're seeing that most of the companies most of their earnings are going to be downgrading we are seeing that uh, you know oil and gas is uh you know, uh, energy and utilities are slowing down a little bit, so that's good. That's what we want to see, right? And the top panel shows that weekly Ford P&E ratios and bottom panel shows that three months revisions index upgrades divided by upgrades and downgrade. <coughs> Excuse me, out there. So we're seeing that you know the whole sector's earnings is basically down. It's down, yeah, it's down, down, down. So you know this is also an interesting fun fact out there. This is kind of looking at the interest rates out there, and you know what's what's kind of been what's kind of been the uh, the hikes out there. So we're seeing that Switzerland, uh, you know, there's been a hike uh, of uh, 50 basis points. We're seeing that Taiwan is 12.5 basis point hike to 1.625. We're seeing Norway right now is up 50 basis points, and they're at 2.25. UK, another 50 basis points as we covered in a previous video. And we're seeing Saudi out there, 75 basis points. Indonesia at 50 basis points at 4.25. Philippines at 50. And Turkey, 100% basis points cut to 12% out there. So we are seeing that most of the global economies out there are actually increasing its interest rates out there. So that is kind of, you know, not good. And that's one of the reasons why we're seeing crypto is down. If you look at the crypto bu bubbles, and this is kind of a uh, you know, high level overview of what's going on. This kind of gives you a sense of what's going on in terms of crypto market. You know, we are seeing it's almost we are seeing a little bit more green than red, so that is good. Uh, hopefully, that uh, Bitcoin can start to make a reversal to the upside. We're seeing pretty much that Ethereum is, and uh, Biddy is down. Ethereum is getting hammer time, hammer time out there. And uh, you know, once again, a lot of people are expecting the merge, merge to go nuts. And we're going to be talking about uh, Mike Novogratz talks about uh, Ethereum and some of the some of the bottom indicators and some of the bombs that he thinks uh, Ethereum is going to be at. So we're going to jump into that. Let's take a look at a quick uh, quick recap of the markets here. We're seeing that the, the market uh, cap -y cap is down about 0.12 percent and uh, we're still above 900 billion dollars out there so that is good i mean i'm hoping we can see that nine uh, billion uh whatever uh you know i'd like this to be over a trillion trillion is kind of like a nice number right it's, a, it's a one more adding one more one more zero out there so that's what we want to see uh, we're seeing biddies down for seven days everything is down do 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 so you know i mean crypto is about as uh, about as exciting as watching paint dry right now and i, and I know a lot of you are like oh what is going on ethereum is uh you know kind of uh, up right now the beast coin by this beast coin ada don't forget we're not, we got the basil fork so you know once again it could be buy the rumor sell the news expect some dumbage out there it's pretty pretty much typical what is going on out there but uh, cardano is up one percent so that's kind of cool guys uh solana is uh, neutral dogecoin is neutral everything is kind of neutral everything uh, uh she is up but you know we're seeing some stuff is up some stuff is up some stuff is down that is what that is all about you know mike novogratz out there uh my billionaire mike novogratz forecast ethereum bottom 
and rules out uh, uh, rules out one outcome for Bitcoin. So he's saying that you know, for from his perspective, he's he's feeling like twelve fifty, one thousand two hundred fifty is the bottom, and uh, you know I kind of agree with him there. I think that Ethereum is. Is you know 1200 1250 is about the bottom, and I think that you know from that perspective, we're looking at 1297 right now. So I think like 1200 bucks. I think this is the basement here, the basement, the basement, you know, the creepy kid that lives in the basement, guys. So we're seeing that that's a basement. I'm just kidding, I'm just fun, I'm not having a good time. So, guys and gals, we're also seeing this coming in. It looks like uh, Bitcoin follows the same macro structure with a false breakout. Uh, and here we have this, you know, false breakout here. We saw that, we saw that in the past in 2000 and and um, 15 we saw it again in 2012 then you have a breakout right it's kind of a breakout and then you just kind of go up and then you have a first retest and we are seeing our first retest and then we had a second retest and then we should get a markup and should go up the upside so that is what's happening and new relief always starts with disbelief so you know a lot of people are thinking oh this is it's unbelievable. It's terrible. But, you know, I did talk about my previous video, and you have to go on back there and watch it, that, you know, we are seeing one of the third biggest, uh, you know, wallets out there for Bitcoin. He's buying He's buying the storm, guys. He's buying up like crazy, and there's no stopping this guy. He is buying like a madman out there. Uh, this is coming in for Doge, you woes. We, we got Elon Musk. We got uh, Elon Musk, Dogecoin News. We got the Luna Classic, uh, something to talk about, some news there as well. We can jump into that. So keep on watching. It looks like Dogecoin must focus on functioning as a currency keeping up with the times and that's so that's so key uh because you know one of the biggest uh, utilities uh for dogecoin is its ability to transact with speed ability to transact with low fees and i think this is you know a good uh, it's a currency it's absolutely currency it's super cheap it's super it's super fast and uh you know we need to attract more talent and definitely we need to get more more talent we need to get the devs going and you know there's still there's still something to talk about you know the dogecoin ethereum bridge vitalik is still involved you know will we be moving dogecoin to proof of a stake that's supposed to be happening that was in the doge uh, trail map uh, that was set up by the Dogecoin community. So that's supposed to be happening, guys and gals. So don't guess this way. Don't guess this illusion. So just at now, 24 hours are completed on the on-chain burn mechanism. And, you know, when this article came out, uh, you know, they ha we'd only burned about 102.8 million. But, you know, we're seeing that, you know, these numbers, these numbers without Binance, MEC, OKK, and Crypto.com, withdrawal and deposit tax because they're they are updating the system so remember like i said we have still have binance we still have uh, mexi okx crypto.com uh, you know the amount of burn that we're seeing now and we're seeing the total burning burn right now is at 320 million and that is without those key exchanges so uh, you know they're still updating the system they're still upgrading the system so you guys just have to wait but I think tomorrow it's going to be huge guys so we burned 320 million uh, Luna Classic intact so that's good guys that is good it's a good start out there so you know don't don't be uh, don't be overly panicky out there you know we will see that the burns are going to accelerate we can see uh, this is from Binance, in case you're wondering what this is. Uh, this is, I believe, is also from, I think this is from, this is from either Crypto Max or OKX. So we are seeing that, you know, we are seeing that the withdrawals and stuff are suspended. So that's going to, that's going to update. That's just going to be fine out there. So don't panic about it. Don't get to, don't get your niggers in a twist. And we're seeing that, uh, you know, this is kind of interesting, despite, despite, uh, you know, not throwing a towel on, it's surprising that how little capitulation there is uh, you know, even this even this market is just like poo poo schmata out there. It's like a big kick of the balls. We're still seeing that uh, you know there is little capitulation, even though the sentiment surveys are negative, but actual flows have not been. And this is consistent with the lack of volatility in the market, as illustrated by the muted VXI guys. So we are seeing that you know we still have not seen a capitulation. The sentiment is down, but there's still it's still not as bad as we we we. We could have. It could be worse. Uh, right now, we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is above our purple line out there. So that is pretty good. Uh, hopefully, this will hold. We're at 19065 You know, there's a good chance we could go below at $19,000. So I still think that, you know, our bottom here is around about seventeen five. Seventeen five. Seventeen five is our bottom, guys and gals. We still got some little news. So got the Doge Woji news. So hold on, guys. If you want to hear the Doge news, weekly, not looking good. And right now, for a 
Luna Classic in the house. Uh, we're looking at that 2751. We're starting to break down a little bit right now. So that is not good. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so we are seeing ourselves down right now around about 1.85%. We have some huge heavy resistance at 28595. I mean, be, be patient, guys. We do have the burn. Like I said, I think things are going to be okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're seeing that on the 24-hour. Uh, let me just refresh this. Refreshy, wishy, wishy. We are seeing that we're down about 5.02%. Uh, the volumes are down 16%. Ouch. And we're seeing that the uh, the uh, total market cap has just dropped between dr just drop uh, below 1.7 trillion, just gingerly. So you know, give us some time. Be patient. Uh, is 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 Luna dead? I don't think it's dead. It's just sleeping right now. So right now we can see that uh, Elon Musk uh, just had this tweet between him and uh, Shibatoshi Nakamoto. Uh, that's Billy Marcus, in case you're who, who who you're wondering, and he and you know, Billy was talking about Dogecoin and cryptocurrency in general, and uh, he basically said to Elon, you know, things can get get worse, right? And Elon Musk basically said, yeah, kind of crying, I agree with that. So, you know, if, if Elon Musk thinks that things are going to get worse, it probably is, and I really think that, you know, we need another good old six months before we're going to see any kind of uh movement to the upside so guys you got to be patient uh you know elon musk is still loving the doge still still supporting the doge uh and we still got twitter guys where twitter could absolutely happen for us so right now at the time of recording we're still seeing that you know even most of the cryptocurrencies are going negative out there we are seeing that the doge coin is looking pretty good on the daily let me just say uh, change the time frame so we get a better look at that so we are seeing that Dogecoin is not doing too shabbily, too shabbily uh, on the daily. Uh, you know, we do have this uh, triangle here. We're above that triangle, so that's offering, that's, uh, you know, good support level. If we can stay above that, that's pretty bullish. And we, you know, we need to get ourselves above that six cents. And um, I think this is going to be a down sloping support. I think Doge is looking good. I think there's something big in play. And uh, I'm not too, I'm not too worried. I'm not too panicking about that. And I love the Doge and I'm willing to hold the Doge for a long, long time so i hope you guys are too but we're seeing that dogecoin you know we have this whole descending funnel here and dogecoin is looking pretty decent over that so i think this will if this is a whole support this is our confluence zone here and i think that you know we need to get above six cents and uh and that will you know send things up pretty up right now so that's pretty good uh and let's take a look at shibi weeby right now shibi weeby is making a move and it's at 10 right now and the 10 uh the 10 level is holding like crazy out there so guys and gals that's going to bring this video to a close don't don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter. We got 4,727 followers. I would appreciate. It. And don't forget to don't forget the uh, don't forget to check out the Linky Winky Winky Winks. Uh, buy the buy the channel of coffee. I would appreciate. It. Uh, Dogecoin tip a job. And don't forget to get the Nano Ledger uh, link out. There's a Philly link. Uh, you can get your Nano Ledger. Use my link. It doesn't cost you more. Secure your crypto. If you uh, don't control the keys, like I've said time and time again, uh, you don't uh, you don't control the crypto, and that's dangerous, guys. Absolutely dangerous, particularly in the bear market. You know, more things collapse, more things, um, more uh, projects go kaput out there, and there's a lot more people kind of hungry to do bad things out there. So, guys, just just be careful out there. I appreciate. It. Don't forget to get the merch, guys. Get the gear up with the OG gear. We got like hats, hoodies, and all that sorts of stuff. So, if you're watching the live stream, uh, don't forget to give a super chat. I appreciate it, and. Uh, show some love guys and i'll see you next one peace out